and learn. We got here whether or not you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Here at the Water Cycle and Weather Learning Center, we'll learn how the water cycle affects weather on Earth. The sun provides the energy that drives the whole water cycle. As the sun heats water on Earth, water evaporates into the air. As the water vapor cools in the atmosphere, it condenses into small water droplets that form clouds. When the water droplets get too heavy, they precipitate back to the ground. Then the water accumulates in aquifers, rivers, lakes, and the oceans. And the whole thing can start all over again. Water turns to vapor by evaporation. Clouds form slowly in the sky by the process of condensation. When the droplets get too heavy, they fall as precipitation. Rain or sleet or snow that melts Then comes accumulation Evaporation Condensation Precipitation Accumulation Okay, I think I understand how the water cycle works but why does it rain in snow places other than over the water? Good question! We get rain and snow and other precipitation in all kinds of places because the sun heats the earth unevenly. Land heats and cools faster than water. And we know that it's warmer near the equator than the poles. All of this uneven heating keeps cold and warm air moving and it makes changes in air pressure. Here's how those air pressure changes cause wind. Cold air weighs more than warm air, so the pressure of cold air is greater. When the sun warms the air, the air expands, gets lighter, and rises. Cooler, heavier air moves to where the warmer and lighter air was. In other words, wind usually blows from areas of high air pressure to areas of low air pressure. Now, warm air can hold more water vapor than cold air. So as the air gets colder, you get condensation and then precipitation. There you go! But it is the temperature of the air that determines the kind of precipitation. Rain happens when drops of liquid water fall on the surface of the Earth. Snow forms when the air is so cold that water vapor turns directly into ice without ever passing through a liquid state. If the air is cold enough, the snow will fall all the way to the ground. Otherwise, it might melt into rain on its way down. Sleet refers to water droplets that freeze on their way down through really cold air. Unlike snow, Sleet goes through a liquid state before freezing. The result is that sleet is not light and fluffy. Hail is like... Mega sleet! When it hails, large balls of ice fall from the sky. Hail forms in a more complex way than sleet. As ice crystals start to fall, wind carries them back up high into the clouds. This happens over and over, and the crystals grow each time. Eventually, they get too heavy and fall hard. That's wild, Tara. I never knew weather could be so complex. And that's just the surface, kid. But it's enough to get you started. Ooh, those nachos aren't setting so good. Are you okay? She'll be fine, but I'm a little worried about us. If there's an... Earthquake! Earthquake!